guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be playing a round of, a 18 hole round of mini golf. Um, Walk about mini golf. I absolutely love this game. It's $15 on the Oculus Quest store. And I think it's the same on Steam if you're a PC VR player. And it is really worth the money. I have all the DLCs for it and I intend on getting all the rest. So, whenever a new map comes out, I'll try my best to play it for you guys. Hold on, let me uh, mess with the settings real quick. Okay, there we go. That's better. I will try my best to uh, play it for you all. I've got a lot to make up on. I played this game for a while. I have every putter, every I have every putter, every ball of that of all these uh, maps. Usually their maps go for around two ninety nine each. They're trying their best to keep it that way. They're with all their map with all their paid maps. But they said sometime in the future they might have to change that, make it a little more because of copyright reasons and how much it takes to actually get the map up and running. But so far, their only copyrighted course has been 299. And it's a really good course. It's really big. It said, they said it took them about three years to make. And... I'm really glad that they did make that map, because it is a really good map. And uh, I've played it, that's what this putter's from, and this ball. This ball's from hole 16, and the putter is just from the map, because there's only one putter per map. And right now we are at even par, and we're going on to hole 6. Not playing my best today. Oh, uh, that might go in. No, it never goes out with enough speed to go in. And the unique thing about this game that that no other game or only a few other games have is you play this game one-handed completely one-handed and you hold the and you hold the other controller like you would a putter in normal mini golf oh i messed this hole up good thing it's a par four you can get an easy eagle or an easy birdie or you can get par I'm gonna get bogey. She'll take me up to plus one. So now I really need to get a hole in one this one. I did not hole in one it, but I'm probably gonna get a birdie. Which is good enough. Because that'll take me back down to even par. Usually when that happens, that means either a really easy birdie or a hole in one when you go in that hole. Probably need to mess around with the settings a little bit more to turn the audio down. Turn the sound effects down to 40 real quick. There we go. That's much better. I think I'm actually going to keep these settings. Pretty good hit. I usually find myself just short on that hill. Oh, it went the wrong one. Still 
sure not the hardest birdie. Uh, just short. Now my round is playing at negative one, which is pretty good. I'm sure if, I'm sure at least most of the people watching know golf rules, but if not, I'm still gonna explain it. The the least the number you have on my on your wrist right here, the better. Where it says round negative two, that's two un that's two over, or two under average, which is a good thing. <coughs> you want as less of those as you possibly can. Yeah, you want at least you want the least strokes you can possibly get. Your goal is to get it in the hole in as least strokes as you can. That's the goal of mini golf and just normal golf in general. Almost to do it in a row. Yeah, at least I scored birdie. Now we are on hole number 18. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video though. And I know it's short because these maps don't really take you that long. At least this one doesn't. Now, if you go into the one which is the only copyrighted one they got, it's called Labyrinth. And it is a paid course, but you can spend hours in that and not find everything. There is so much to find in that one. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, my round is staying at negative seven, which is pretty good. Really good for most people. Pretty good for me. I think my high score is like negative 12. I average about negative 7, negative 8, so yeah. About average on this map. So that is the whole course of uh, Taurus Trap. There is 12, 12 uh, maps to do. This is one of my favorites. Doesn't take very long. As soon as my friend gets on, I'll probably do a multi, a multiplayer match, and it'll be fun. He kinda isn't the best though. I still gotta work with him a little bit with it because he's kind of just shoots it everywhere and here is the welcome island it's got your nice putting green there to practice and you got a driving range Which ain't too bad. And uh, the putting green is over here. And then it just pops it, pops the ball right back out when you're done with that hole, and then you just put it around. You can also pick your ball up if you press down on the joystick behind your back, or just point it at your ball like you would pick up the lost ones.
Another thing I like about this game is once they go into the bottom of the hole, they ain't coming out. So if you just dunk, if you dunk them good enough, they're not gonna hit the sides and then pop out. They're just gonna stay. They're gonna stick it. I can't do it right now because I suck. There you go. And then I'll let you guys see my ball and putter collection. Again, I have all of them, and it kind of lags a little bit. When I come over here, guys, I got a lot of them. This is these are the or the six you start out with, and then you got all of these that come from different fox hunts throughout the game. No, there's 13 maps. My bad. And then my personal favorite is that one. That one and that one. And uh, every once in a while I use that one. And then here's my ball collection. I've got a lot of them. I used to use the uh, the water looking ball. And then I used to use the gold looking ball. Then I switched to this one. Which is definitely my favorite right now. Until they come out with a new map. They can tell me otherwise. Which they probably will. And there's, I think that's the skull. Or the moon. That's the skull one. And there's uh, plenty of different balls for you to collect. And yeah, I think that's the skull. No, maybe not. Maybe that is the moon. Yep, that is. Still gonna switch back to uh, that one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's kind of just a quick rundown of the first map, which is Taurus Trap. Next map will be Cherry Blossom, then Seagull Stacks, then Arizona Modern, then Original Gothic, then just go on out all the way to Labyrinth. And hopefully it won't be too long before they can get another map out which I think is going to be the Mist Island, if you've, if you've ever played that game. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the...